Although two free state schools are affected, analysts say today's ruling could have national repercussions. The Constitutional Court believes the people's right to education were violated when Harmony and Velcom High suspended them for being pregnant. The head of department wanted the pupils back in class, but the school's governing bodies then took the matter to court. The Free State High Court and the Supreme Court of Appeal ruled in favor of the SGBs. Today, the Constitutional Court dismissed the Supreme Court of Appeal's decision. The school governing bodies of Velcom High School and Harmony High School must A, review their current pregnancy policies in the light of this judgment, and B, by not later than 10 October 2013, lodge with this court affidavits setting out the processes that have been followed to review the pregnancy policies. The provincial education department has welcomed the ruling. The department were going to use uh, this judgment to, to, to look at other policies that are in violation of our constitution. We are happy that the, this judgment has given us a direction. The social problems around why children, why female learners get pregnant and what are the consequences and why, is, why are the schools punishing only female learners and those things and the dynamics within society, those issues didn't come out and the politics of that didn't come out in the judgment. In 2008, a study commissioned by the Basic Education Department found KwaZulu-Natal, Limpopo and the Eastern Cape to have the highest teen pregnancy rate. Njanji Chauke, SABC News, Johannesburg.